M0FXB Hamtech, welcome to my channel, learning about the metastatic off-grid network. So you don't need 4G, you don't need internet, you can communicate with others just using these very inexpensive devices. And there are different companies making different items. We've got Lilygo, we've got the Helltech, and you've seen some there at the bottom in this video. So this video is to show you that you can actually configure your device using your PC. Normally people pair it to the Bluetooth on their Android or iOS device, but in this video we're going to show you how to configure things using your PC. So once you decide which device to purchase, and the most common one it seems to be the Helltech version 3, which looks like this and that they don't have GPS built in, but you can add a GPS module or add your location. This one here on the left does have GPS and it's called the T-Beam and um, it will connect via your USB cable, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, so it's pretty good. So you get your device, you plug it into the USB, they do, come to, they do tend to be USB-C, but it could be micro USB. Drop down your device, just here on the left, choose the one you've got, then select the firmware. I just always choose the top one and then flash and your device is ready apart from just one thing you need to do. You pair it to your phone, just swipe down on your phone like so. And as you can see, and I've, I've um, just mirrored it on my computer, hold down and then you want it to search and you can see the way it says Mishtastic there, you'll tap that and it will come up with a number. I've already done mine, okay? So looking on your smartphone, on the left at the top here, you've got a tab there that shows messages. Then you've got your peers, which is basically people and their devices. So these two devices are my devices. Going over, you've got the map and you can scroll in and out of the map and find other users. It's pretty, quite nice to do that. Okay, it's worldwide. You select here. You've got a, it looks like you've got a QR code that you can create to, I guess, log into your device. And the long fast channel is the one that is there by default, long fast. And that's where people message each other. On the far right, the first thing you'll do is drop down this item here and you'll select your region. And in the UK, Europe, we're all selecting EU868 and that's 868 megahertz. And that's why it's important to make sure that you can, uh, that you buy, when you buy your device, I'll show you the one I got from eBay. There's one there, look, the Helltech LoRa version, or 3.1, that's a newer version, and you get the case on that one as well. And you can see it's got a USB-C there, and it's got built-in Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, everything you're gonna need, and you can add a GPS board if you want. And you can get some, you know, quite nice cases to really make it look the part. It just makes it more fun, but ultimately they're mini radios and you put and if you want to get some activity, get on a hill and watch those signals come in. There are plenty. So once you're into your device, you've got the three dots here on the top right. You can click radio configuration. And within this we're seeing our our user. And each time you select it, it sort of talks to your device. And go back one. We've got channels. The default channel is the long fast. Okay, let's leave that as it is for now. Go back with the top arrow, device. There's our device. Go back. Position, you can set a manual or turn on the GPS if you've got a GPS enabled there, you know, if you've got an at item attached. Now this is the one we're talking about in this video is, is look, here I've enabled Wi-Fi so we can technically communicate with our device via, via Wi-Fi, yeah? but it will turn off the Bluetooth. So we're just uh, connected by a serial connection at the moment. Let's show you how you do that. Go down here and you'll see it says, just here, serial. Click that and just make sure you've turned that on and that's gonna allow you to connect your USB cable to your device, the USB-C or micro USB-C. And then connect the way I am on my PC. So if we go over to this screen here, which looks very plain, it says new connection. So what I would do is click plus. And if we decided to go via serial and the cable is connected to our PC, we literally just go serial, click this here, and it connects to the device that is connected to your computer. And it starts to load everything that we've already done here. 
on the far left. So what you're seeing here is very, very almost the same as what you're seeing on the right hand side, which is your phone, but you're seeing it by your PC. So these are old messages that it's saved that we're looking here. Yeah, these are old messages that you can see. One of them's new, that's because it's from my own device. Look, it says Meshtastic88, well that's in this house. Then we've got different channels now. I, I renamed one and called it Hamtech, but you can add more channels as you can see there. We've got the configuration here as well. We're just clicking up the list here, configuration. So if we go back, go back one on the phone app, three dots, configuration. We're gonna see user, sorry, not user, similar items here, look. So you've got, it says here, the role, which is default client, serial output enabled. We know that's we're connected. We've got some other items you can configure there. We've got channels, looked at that, messages, and I'm not receiving any because we've not getting any in, in this shack. And you can add a new device. So let's just say we want to add a device. And we've enabled, say, the HTTP. You can use this address here, mishtastic.local, to try and connect to it. Or you could pair your computer, and I haven't tried this, so someone let me know if this works to your Bluetooth of your device, yeah? And I'm gonna try this next actually, because I'm interested to know if that works. And then you can use Bluetooth, and then zero is the USB cable. HTTP, you're gonna get an IP address, so you do need to enable that, and we saw that, I believe, in the network set setting here. If we, Wi-Fi is enabled, so we should get an IP address appear. Now, this is the one they give us, but I think we need an IP number. I'm going to click connect and just see if it does anything and then we'll end the video. Remember my videos are, are learning videos so um, you know I'm open 100% to get some advice from people regarding the setup. But Wi-Fi is enabled and I'll do a quick search on my IP scanner and see if I can find anything called Meshtastic and I use this scanner here it's called Advanced IP Scanner. Just download that click play and then you do need to make sure that everything's on the same network or it's not going to pick anything up and then we scan and we're looking for something that's got the same name as our Meshtastic node which in this case is either 88AC I think the other one's called, I've got is called 555 and we look for that and then if we did find that we could then put it into the IP address so we just look in here quite a few to choose from because you know me a lot of gadgets on the go there's probably a way of going into your node and just seeing the IP address, but I don't know how to do that. Let me have a look. So I think that's, that. I think that's enough for this video. Any tips appreciated. What we really want to do is connect via serial, Bluetooth, or Wi-Fi quite easily. We want clear instructions. Uh, but I'm having fun learning, and the best way is to dive in and give it a go. Thanks for watching my YouTube channel. Bye for now.